I'm here at REIT Week in New York, and joining me today is Richard Farrar, Principal of Farrar Consulting. Thanks for joining us, Richard. You're very welcome. Your firm specializes in hotel and marketing sales, and you have nearly 40 years' experience working with Marriott. With that window of knowledge, how would you classify where the hotel market is today? We think it's uh, on the way up. It's, it's a slow, but uh, we, we think business is getting better, and we're, we're excited about that. The last couple of years have been extremely ugly. So um, we, we are optimistic for 12 and 13 and 14. How would you say the, whole, the sales and marketing aspect of the industry has changed since you began your career? Well, I think sales is still sales. I still think people want to meet one-on-one -on -one with folks. Um, but the marketing side has changed uh, 180 degrees between you know, newspapers and magazines and now with the internet and um, social media. So it's, it's very, very different. And also, lastly, let me ask, you're very active with your alma mater, modern Michigan State University. Can you talk a little bit about some of the enhancements being made at the University School of Hospitality business? Well, that's part of the reason why I'm here this week. Uh, we've got about 850 students, and typically they end up in operational jobs, uh, front desk, housekeeping. Uh, what we want to ensure is two things. One, that those students leave Michigan State with a better perspective of owners and development and real estate. Um, and then number two, we are getting uh, sort of a small group of, of folks that are sort of saying, hey, what about that real estate stuff? Mm -hmm. So I'm here to sort of test the waters to figure out um, how far do we want to go, what's the right uh, sort of balance between making sure we put out great operators mm -hmm. and also have something for these other students that show an interest in that. Um, if you think about it in, in, in a select service hotel within seven years, you could be a general manager in some situations sitting across from an owner. If you don't really understand what the owner's perspective is, that might not be a great first meeting. Thank you for joining us today, Richard. Thank you. I'm Carissa Chappelle with REIT.com.